Okay, hey everyone. In this short video, I want to share with you something that I learned from a computer game called Plants vs. Zombies. So it's a pretty simple computer game that I discovered on a long haul flight recently. And the premise is quite straightforward. You have a house and the house is being invaded by zombies, you can defend your house with various plants. And essentially, the game creates a mini economy around earning plants that can defend your house and then using those plants to destroy the zombies. So the most critical plant is actually a sunflower and it emits rays of sunshine like every 30 seconds or so. And each ray of sunshine, if you grab it, is worth a gold coin. Rays of sunshine also drop from the sky, so you can grab gold coins just for free to get going in the game. Once you've got enough gold coins, you can choose whether to buy more sunflowers or start to buy weapons with which you can destroy the zombies which are coming to your house. I really quickly discovered that if I used my gold coins to invest in weapons to defend my house, my progress was really slow because I would be waiting for the sun rays to drop from the sky and I'd be waiting for my sunflowers to produce the sun rays so that I could get more gold coins so that I could buy more weapons. And this ultimately held me back because as time passes, more and more waves of zombies are coming at my house and I just can't quite keep up with them until they start to actually eat my plants and break through my, break through my defences and take over my house. However, what I learned was... If early on I just focus my energy on buying more sunflowers and planting more sunflowers, then I could very quickly multiply the number of gold coins that I would be getting on a regular basis. And in this scenario, I found the absolute opposite was true. I had more than enough gold coins being produced all the time, and I pretty much could buy any weapon that I needed. And I was able to do that in quite a rapid amount of time, so that by the time the waves of zombies were coming, I had a whole bank of sunflowers giving me gold coins, and I had enough weapons to defend my house against the zombies. I had so much currency, actually, I could replace every weapon I needed, and I could have multiple weapons set up to, to defend my house. I would even finish whole rounds with excess money in my gold coin account, and I could defeat all of the zombies well and truly before they got close to my house. And for me, this simple game played on an aeroplane was this amazing business lesson for me. And it's a business lesson that I've heard before, but I've never seen applied in such a simple manner. When you invest in income producing assets that give you a recurring income, you can fill up your coffers or your gold coin supply with regularity. Now, in life and in business, we, we face a lot of zombies. There's zombies of bills. There's zombies of taxes. There's zombies of software licenses, zombies of client refunds, hiring costs, and so on. If you just focus on zapping each zombie as it comes along and just dealing with each crisis as it pops up and paying each bill as it comes along, what you're not preparing yourself is for the wave of zombies that's coming that will ultimately overrun your business and, and take over your life. And ultimately, as you scale a business, you're scaling the chance of more zombies coming and the numbers of zombies only increases, it rarely decreases. So by investing in income producing assets, your coffers are always full. You always have the resources to invest in the defenses that you need and to zap the zombies that are coming your way. And even if the zombies increase in number, you've got more than enough supply to handle them. So for me and my business, income producing assets are clients that are on long-term retainers and clients that I can upsell to new services so that I get recurring income and a greater lifetime value from one business owner. For your business, it might be a recurring community subscription or course income or a mastermind or some other type of income. Anything where you don't need to, anything where you don't need the same cost of outlay to acquire the client, but you get the recurring income once you've, once you've acquired them. Anything where you don't need a new investment to acquire a client, but you can reap the recurring income by hanging on to the client. For you, some, your sunflowers could be rental properties, stocks and shares in companies that pay you dividends. If you invest early in income producing assets, these will equip you with the energy and resources 
to handle all the zombies that your business will throw at you and essentially survive and thrive in business. We should all focus on more plants and less zombies. Brings me to the end of this short video. I hope you found it valuable and I'll see you in the next video.